We're given the number of gallons is A of T, and T is hours. For part A, we want to use the data to estimate the rate at which the number of gallons of oil in the tank is changing at time T equals 10 hours. Okay. So for 10 hours, well, 10 is between 5 and 15. So in order to see how much it's changing there, we would have to take the slope from 5 comma 18 to 15 comma 25. So the slope is just the average rate of change in our case, which is 25 minus 18 over 15 minus 5. 25 minus 8 is 7. 15 minus 5 is 10. So the rate of which the number of gallons of oil in the tank is changing at time t equals 10 is approximately 7 over 10. And then you just have gallons per hour. Because the numerator represents gallons. And then the denominator is hours. So For part B, is there a time t for t being between 0 and 35 at which the number of gallons of olive oil in the tank is 21? Justify your answer. Okay, so here we're given that um, the number of gallons of olive oil is given by the twice different differentiable function of A. So if A is differentiable, that means it's continuous. So we can use the uh, intermediate value theorem. So if I were to plot this, for example, so it's 0 it's 10, it's 5, it's 18. It's 15, it's 25. Because it's continuous, you have to connect 5 comma 18 to 15 comma 25. So I don't really know or care about how I connect these points. Like there could be a bunch of things that happen. But eventually, I'm going to have to cross 21. So by the intermediate value theorem, there's some point between 5 and 15 where the y value is 21. And now the last one. We're given a function. Well, actually, we're given g of 2 is 20. And g prime of t is 5 minus 1 over the square root of t plus 7. We want to find a tangent line at the point t equals 2 to approximate g of 9. Okay, so for a tangent line, we need a point and a slope. We're given g of 2 is 20, so the point is 2 comma 20. The slope is going to be the derivative, so I need to plug in 2 in the derivative. So that'd be 5 minus 1 over 2 plus 7, which is 5 minus. 1 over root 9, which is 5 minus 1 third. And I can just write this as 14 over 3. Okay. So g prime of 2 represents the slope of the tangent line, which is exactly what we want. So when you have a point, you have a slope, you can use the point slope formula. And here I'm going to use, say, g minus my y value, or g value, equals a slope multiplied by t minus my t value. So I can simplify this. And let's see, this will be 32 over 3. Last thing I need to do is approximate g of 9, right? So this is uh, g of t. So I can approximate g of 9 by plugging in t equals 9. So it's 14 over 3 times 9 plus 32 over 3. I can cancel out the 3 and the 9, but I'm not going to do that because they both have a common denominator of 3. See, 14 times 9 is 120. No, let's see, 126. Okay. So add these up, we get 
158 over 3. And we'll just leave it as it is. So that is our answer for part C.